Hello, my name is Blue Digit, and today we're going to be talking about finally an anime, um, or at least a manga, and a little bit of an anime. So, um, I've been wanting to do this for a while, and uh, this is one of those videos that I'm going to probably uh, really get into, because um, this is something that uh, I, I feel like this is a little bit personal. So, um, Blue Lock, that's what this anime is, and it came out, I think, two weeks ago? Um... However, it is going to be, I think, one of the best sports anime of all time. And the reason I say that is because um, a lot of sports anime people just dig on. They're like, okay, well, this is shit. I can't really get into this because it's sports, right? And um, I feel like you're doing yourself a big disservice because I understand um, a lot of the points, um, especially since, like, you know, I'm not into Slice of Life, for example, because I think Slice of Life is completely just utterly boring. And a lot of it is just high-quality filler. And that's, like, you want to feel invested. You want to actually care about your characters. You want to feel like every episode you're putting your, your time into matters, right? Um, that's why, like, a lot of shows that are chronological nowadays, people enjoy. For example, The Boys, right? Like, when you see that, you're wondering, okay, who's going to fucking die? Who's, who's going to, you know, get themselves blown up? Because um, it's interesting. However, um, with sports anime, a lot of them do... Um, their best job at getting people actually into the sport, and they do what JoJo does, which is uh, the exaggerated situation belong beyond belief. And I think um, in this situation, it works quite well, actually. Um, there's a lot of shows that I used to in their sports anime, and um, I wish I could remember all of them, but uh, one of my favorites is uh, a sumo anime, and I think, it's, I think it's called Washi no Sumo or something like that. I could be totally wrong, but um, it is over exaggerated and quite literally like these people as they're fighting have like these mindsets that like okay i'm going to do like a demon spin and now i'm going to do this thing and it gets you really invested into like feeling like this is an actual fight between two people instead of just when you're watching like you know when you're actually doing the sport like kick 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 but from someone that also has done sports i mean like do like you know i i go to the gym like literally every day so i mean like i'm into um this realm already However, I, I'm also open-minded to why people might not get into this. Um, so just leaving that out um, there right now, uh, I would still give it a try if you are not into sports anime for the fact that um, this has a little bit of a twist. And that's the fact that basically, um, this is a Battle Royale soccer anime. And uh, it's pretty fucking awesome. I'll be real, it's fucking awesome. Um... First off, and this is, this is the thing I want to rant about to begin with, I love the art style. The art style is probably my favorite, and if I, I, I wish I could always describe this art style, but this is probably it. Um, it has this, if you guys have ever seen Studio Trigger, a lot of Studio Trigger, um, when they have like these rage moments, this is exactly the art style kind of more or less that they go for. And instead of cutesy sometimes, and then like this badass look art style, Blue Lock just commits to it. Like, all these looks are intense. Quite literally, like, these people have fucking fire coming from their eyes and shit. Like, it's badass. Um, and Blue Lock is, um, I guess I'm going to the first episode a little bit, because this is more or less the synopsis. Um, the main characters try getting into this, they try becoming good soccer players, but, um, they're invited to this Battle Royale-like arena, which is called Blue, Blue Lock, and it's quite literally almost like a prison that they're put into, um, and they have to, um, out of, like, hundreds and hundreds of people, basically become the number one, uh, striker, which is basically the person that goes and makes goals on uh, a soccer team, and if you don't surpass people during these, um, tests and challenges, you're basically kicked, and you're out, and it is very, very intense, um, the first episode has quite literally just a, a game of tag, as uh, one of them, um, with a soccer ball, and it, it is the most just, like, gut-wrenching, like, adrenaline-inducing game of tag with a soccer ball I've ever seen, um, but if, if that doesn't really convince you enough, I am, um, someone that doesn't like reading manga when an anime comes out, I like seeing what the anime has to offer first, however, in this case, I, I was like, okay, this is too good, I, I can't, I can't just wait another week, because, uh, that was, uh, last week, so, um, I read the manga, and I got up to chapter 90-something, and let me tell you, dude, it gets better and better and better. It literally gets better and better and better, um, because, like most anime, they try to either, um, make 
there be like a, a, a kind of balance between like realism of emotion and whatnot, and then they also try to make you care about your team, which this kind of does that, but immediately it breaks down the, uh, the idea in this show um, of team. It's basically telling you, you have to work with team, but what you really should do is worry about yourself because you're going to be the main determining factor. And um, this whole show just screams competitive edge. Um, like there, there's so many moments where people are just like screaming or just like getting hyped or like fearful of their lives in this moment. Um, even though it's just a game of soccer, I love that. That's what you should feel when you're um, watching an anime like this. One of my favorite um, hybrid animes that is like this is um, Make a Little Box. Second season sucks ass. If anyone says otherwise, fuck them. But the first season was amazing. And what Make a Little Box basically was, was a boxing anime, obviously. But the twist was um, they had these suits. And you can put on basically just these, these exoskeleton arms that would help them with their boxing. And um, it was this kid that came from nothing trying his best to work his way up in this sci-fi slash um, almost like a cyberpunk world. And it was awesome. It just, oh, it was so damn good. I loved it. I loved every moment of it um, because it, it was able to um, still have a, um, the world of sports where there was a, comp a competitive edge. However, um, it still knew that it was an anime and it went all out and it did as much as it could when going all out so um i can already sense what's going to happen with this show because i have read way past what how far the anime is going to go so like i already know what's going to happen um so obviously i'm not going to say anything in relation to that but um even when i went past that this is probably one of my favorite um sports anime and or even just stories because of the fact that um these characters they care about their dream, and it does mean a lot to them, but to them, this is quite literally is life or death, and it makes the stakes a lot more anxiety-inducing, which I think a lot of shows don't really do as much. It's like, oh, we lost. Well, well, there's always next year. This one, like, it doesn't do that. It basically, what it does is, you win now, or you're not going to get this chance again. This is it. This is all you're going to get for your best chance, and I love the way that it portrays that because it doesn't make it feel like this is some hodgepodge realization story and um you know some people get into sports some people don't it's just the way the world works the show basically screams this is my passion and it just it relates to me and i think other people it's like okay if you're into arts if you're into agriculture if you're into architecture if you're into the the medical field if you have a passion for that you're going to stand up for it and you're going to say that right same thing here, except these people are literally fucking willing to die for this shit. And um, the f matches that they have, I actually feel like they're fight scenes to the death. Um, one of my favorite things about the show is how um, they kind of bring forward a lot of insurmountable odds that other shows kind of are scared to go to um an example is if there is a teammate that's uncooperative um what do you do then do you force them to stay and help or do you force them to stay out of the game um and what do you do against people that are trying to manipulate you what do you do against um friends that you've made but you know you can't keep um, those are topics that in a lot of sports anime, they kind of just have to like push past or they take too, too long and you don't care about the character development. This show does a really good job of it. Um, and knowing that balance is important. Um, the animation is really good. It's pretty, a lot of people are going to say it's edgy in some ways for the fact that these people are just always like, <laughs> but I, I think that's the point. And if you're into like, um, I would say other action anime where, Quite literally, it's it's that one moment where the, the main character is just screaming, fighting for his life. Um, if they're kind of like the boss fight moment, right? If you're into those moments in anime, this is basically all the show is. That's literally all the show is. It's the build up to the next boss fight, the next boss fight, the next boss fight. There's really no downtime for um, inter 
relation discussion, which I mean, there is sometimes, um, obviously, but the, 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 the mounts is very minuscule. It's literally, how can I get better? I don't have enough time. This might be it. And I think that stress carries over um, very well into the anime so far from what I've seen. Um, the voice acting is also very good. It's also very good. But um, th the one thing I would say is if you do care more about that downtime, um, just at least try the first episode. Because that's really all you need to know, in my opinion. It will, once you watch the first episode, maybe a little bit of the second one, just so you can get, like, what, the, the first, like, five minutes of the second one. You'll know exactly what you're getting yourself into. you know exactly if... This is a show that is made for you. But um, the reason I say this is personal is because, you know, as someone that really does have um, aspirations towards um, high caliber things, um, this main character I, I can relate to on a high level because it's not just I, I love this. It's I'm willing to fucking die for it. And um, the show does a wonderful job showing just how competitive and unfair the world is, yet what you need to do to surpass those odds if you truly want to succeed. And um, the beauty of this is um, crazy because I haven't seen a sports anime go to this length before. And don't get me wrong, there, there is always going to be that exaggerated sense. Um, again, if, if you're okay with that, then this is going to be good for you. But um, if not, I mean, I don't know, man. Like, watch, watch, watch an old pedal or something. I mean, that that's less exaggerated. But um, I, I like Miami to be like, be like, boom, 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 boom. holy shit, we don't know the fuck, you know, that, that's just awesome. Um, the one thing, though, if I am to win you on this show, is um, this is one of those shows. I feel like by the end of it, you will be more in touch with understanding why dreams mean so much and why you need to push towards them. And um, the show does a really good job at making sure um, the audience knows just the uh, level of stakes there are in every single episode and moment. Um, a lot of shows I've watched nowadays feel like you just go by like that. And uh, there's really little downtime in this and it shows mainly be because of the immersion i get when i'm watching um these other shows I, I i feel like it's like three minutes and it's over this every single i i i'm surprised at how long it feels sometimes because um how much information i'm getting and i really enjoy that um because it tells me that this is moving fast and it's not willing to waste my time i wish i could say a little bit more but for what's out right now, the manga I would recommend reading because uh, the, the the frames are just fucking beautiful. It is just so damn good. But um, the amount of care and uh, especially just balls to the walls action and adrenaline this show produces, um, this is this is probably going to be one of the best. Um, it's it's up there with basically all the other great boxing anime. Um, and I, I really don't know many other, unless it's a fighting anime, anime that have this amount of adrenaline coursing through my fucking veins while I'm watching it. And I think that's um, really where sports anime shine. If you're going to get anything uh, from a sports anime, I would say it has to be something with that adrenaline pump. Because you're watching it to get hyped. You're watching it to understand why their dreams mean so much to them and what they're willing to do to achieve it. Just like any other show. Um, except the difference between watching an anime and you obviously just playing the thing in general. You know, like playing the sport. is because um, you're able to feel like the chains are off. You're able to feel like this person is actually going to give me my all. They're going to be able to go to making a file. They're going to be able to break themselves. And um, those limitless restrictions really makes a sports anime just beyond amazing. Because in real life, I mean, it happens sometimes. But it's, it's, it's more predictable, I would say. This, you, you will 
see yourself in it, whether you like it or not. And even if you're in sports or not, um, the dynamics here are uh, wonderful. So, um, man, I just wish I could say more. It's, just, it's so good. It's so good. Um, I would honestly give this like a 9 out of 10 for how good it is. Uh, just please watch it. Please watch it. If you don't like this, this might, sports anime just might not be for you then, right? Um, however, this is, I would say, it's going to be the pinnacle of it. And um, if I'm going to be watching anything, it's probably going to be this out of all the anime this season. And that's, that's saying something, especially when Chainsaw Man just came out, which I'll be talking about Chainsaw Man as well. But, um... I gotta stop. I'll keep, I'll keep ranting. That that's that, that tells you how much I care about this. So, um, thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, please check this out. Seriously, it's really really good. It's just, I, I I'm, I'm blah. It, this image doesn't go like, yeah, that's fucking like rage incarnate right there. Like I don't know, man. Like if, if that's not just like whoa. But um, thank you all for watching. My name is Blue Sanyo. Um, if you would please go check out the Twitch tonight. Um, we'll be streaming. Please go check out the Discord. And um, also the Twitter because I'm going to be posting there a lot more too. So I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. And, uh, my name is Blue Sanyo, and I'll see you guys next video. Bye guys.